Oh, thank God you're alive. I've been calling all day. I just don't have a right hand. But, but you'll be okay. I mean, they can graft another one on. How long have I been here? Where are the doctors and nurses and... Four days? Yeah? Everything here at the plant is going spelunkishly. In fact, we've splunked orders from three separate police systems, all here on Terra. Two in Ohio, one in Wyoming. Good solid orders, with one third in advance and the usual three year lease option. Come get me out of here. I can't get you out until a new hand. I'll have it done later. Guess I got lucky. Sarah Benton there with you? No. Maybe that's what happened to me. Maybe Sarah fell on my squib. No, no. A, a tie rod and the steering fin of your squib split apart during the heavy rush hour of traffic, and you... Talk to you later. You shouldn't be phoning quite so soon. Ah, here. Mr. Garson Poole, owner of Triplant Electronics, maker of random indent darts that track their prey for a circle radius of a thousand miles, responding to their unique inept wave patterns. You're a successful man, Mr. Poole. But, Mr. Poole, you're not a man. You're an electric ant. Christ. So we really can't treat you here now that we figured it out. We knew, of course, as soon as we examined your injured right hand. We saw the electronic components and then we made a torso x-ray. Of course, they bore out our hypothesis. What, what is an electric ant? An organic robot. I see. You didn't know? No. No, I didn't. Well, we get an electric ant in every week or so. Either brought in here from a squib accident like you, or others seeking voluntary admission. That is, one who, like yourself, had never been told, who function alongside humans believing himself uh itself now as for your hand forget my hand be calm we'll have a hospital boat convey you over to the service facility where they will repair or replace your hand it is a minimal expense and if you're self-owned or it's to your owners if there are any You'll be back at your desk at the tribe plant functioning just as you were before. I'm just a figurehead. For the repair facility, uh, could you kindly settle your bill at the front desk? How can there be a bill if you don't treat ants here? For our services. Up until the point we knew. Bill me. Bill my firm. I'll be glad to leave here, and thank you for the humane attention. Well, how much? Looks like it's growing around your 40 frogs. 40, huh? That's a week's salary. Well, come back. He'll set you up and you'll see why. Now this is just a loose fit before we get the whole thing. Or the whole model already. Here, just... Why don't you slip into this? It's a size 5. No, no, no. That won't work. Here, try this one. This is a 3 and 3 quarters. There are just a few adjustments now. Forty frogs, huh? Is this insured? Yep, ninety days parts and labor unless subjected to unusual or intentional abuse. That sounds vaguely suggestive. So you've been posing, eh? Unintentionally. 
And now it's intentionally? Exactly. Do you know why you never guessed? I mean, there must have been signs clicking warnings from the inside of your hand then. Hmm. I guess because you programmed not to notice, you'll now have some difficulty finding out why it, you were built and who was operating you. Oh. Slave, a mechanical slave. You had fun. I lived a good life. I worked. I worked hard. Good as new. Yeah. Forty. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. I'm not free. I never was. But the knowing, the knowing makes it poison. I feel alive. I think I'll kill myself. <sighs> I'm probably programmed not to do that. Costly ways for my owner to absorb. Just, just some matrix in me. Forcing my decisions, stopping me from some things, making me do others. I'm not free. I never was. But the knowing, Jesus, the knowing, it makes it poison. Aha. Let's see, what's the number for the class triple B computer we hire at the office? Ah. Use of this computer is prorated at a five frogs per minute basis. Please hold your master credit charge plate before the screen. At the sound of the buzzer you will be connected with the computer. Please query it as rapidly as possible, taking into account the fact that its answer will be given in terms of a microsecond, while your query will be analyzed for the... Scan me visually, and tell me where I will find the programming mechanism which controls my thoughts and behavior.
I can distinguish control modules, but I can't tell which. I distinguish a roll of punch tape above your heart mechanism. You see it. I will have to sign off. After I have examined the data available to me, I will contact you and give you your answer. Good day. Master Credit Charge Plate Number 3 BNX 882 HQR 4460. This is BBB 370 NRA contacting you in response to your query of 16 seconds lapse, November the 4th, 1992. The punch tape roll above your heart mechanism is not a programming turret, but is in fact a reality supply construct. All sense stimuli received by your central neurological system emanate from that unit and tampering with it would be risky, if not terminal. You appear to have no programming circuit. Query answered. Goodbye. I'll yank the tape out of me. The spools, they, they must override the spools when they need it, so I'll just have to tear out the tape and... I cut this tape, my world will disappear. Reality will continue for others, just not for me. My... my reality, my... Universe, it comes from this machine, fed into the scanner and then into my central nervous system as it snailishly unwinds. I have to go slowly. After all, what am I trying to do? Bypass my programming? But the computer didn't find a programming circuit. Do, do I want, do I want to interfere with the reality tape? If I do, and if I do, why? Because if I can control that, I can control reality. At least my subjective reality. But that's all there is. Objective reality is a synthetic construct, a hypothetical universalization, or subjective realities. This is more than control over myself. This is control over everything. And it makes me different than any human ever. Danceman, I want you to send up a complete set of micro tools and an enlarging screen over to my apartment. I have some micro circuitry to work on.
you didn't say exactly what you wanted, Miss. So Mr. Gansman had me bring everything. And the enlarging lens? In the truck, up on the roof. This is suicide. Anything wrong, Mr. Fool? You must still be rickety on your pins from the accident. Yeah. Huh. Just like a uh, like a player piano. Solid deeds no, then a, a punch means yes. How now how can I test this? There, that smears out half an hour. If I'm right, we'll see what happens in six hours. Bad. I am bad. Another scotch. An accident? In a sense, yes. Is that, is that something you found out about yourself? Then you know. I know. I should call you call you Pool instead of Mr. Pool. But I prefer the latter. I'll continue to use it. How long? How, how long have you known? Since you took over the firm, I was told that the actual owner is a triplan who are located on a proc system want a triplan run by an electric ant that could control. A brilliant and forceful... The real owners? We have 2,000 stockholders scattered everywhere. Marvin Bay and her husband Ernan on Prox4 control 51% of the voting stock. This has been true from the start. Why didn't I know? I was told not to tell you. You were to think that you made all company policy. With my help. But I was actually feeding you what the Bays fed me. I'm a figurehead. In a sense, yes, but you'll always be Mr. Pool me. What is it? Look around. Do you see any changes? Changes? Like what? You, you still see the skyline? Sure, smoggy, as it is. Lights wink. Now I know. I'll see you later, Danceman. I have to get back to my apartment with some work I'm doing. Good night. Open certain possibilities from one standpoint. That's what I'm exploring now. You can watch if you want. <laughs> what? What's the matter? It's just so sad. You've been such a good employer to all of us at the tri plant. We respected you so, and now it's all—it's all changed. Are you? Are you fixing yourself? Freeing myself. Sarah, I, I want your help. In a very few minutes, something strange will happen to me. It won't last long, but I want you to watch me carefully. See if I, if I show any changes. If I seem to go to sleep, or if I talk nonsense, or... I won't do you any harm, but I think it might be a good idea if you armed yourself. Do you have your anti-mugging gun with you? In my purse... 
I am still right about the way the damn tape works. I'll make an encyclopedia. Everything that begins with A. Apple, automobile, Axitron, atmosphere, Atlantic, tomato aspic, advertising. That look on your face. I'll, I'll go. I can see how you feel about having me here. Stay. I'll, I'll watch the Captain Kirk with you. Remember years ago when there were, what was it, 20 or 22 independent channels? Before the government shut down the independents? Mm. What, what, what would it have looked like, I wonder? This TV set projected all the channels onto the cathode ray screen at the same time. Could we have distinguished anything in the mixture? I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe we could learn to. Learn to be selective. Do our own job of perceiving what we wanted to and what we didn't. Think of all the possibilities if our brains could handle 20 images at once. Think of the amount of knowledge which could be stored during a given period. I wonder if the brain, the human brain... No. No, no, the human brain couldn't do it. But in theory, a quasi-organic brain might. Is that what you have? Yes. He's conscious. Thank God. I was so afraid. I called Danceman finally about the... What... What happened? Start start from the beginning, and for God's sake, speak slowly, so so I can assimilate it all. You passed out. You just lay there, as if you were dead. I waited until 2.30, but you didn't do anything. I called Dansman. I woke him up. He called the electric ant maintenance, I mean, organic roby maintenance, and they've, they've been working on you ever since. I'm cold, and I want to go to bed. I can't make it into the office today. I, I really can't. You've been playing around with your reality tape. Yes. I I shouldn't have been out that long. I, I only inserted a ten minute strip. It shut off the tape transport. The tape stopped moving forward. You're... You interject jam. It, it automatically shuts down to avoid tearing the tape. Why would you want to fiddle around with that? Anyways, do you know what you could have done? I'm not sure. But you have a good idea. That's why I'm doing it. Didn't it occur to you that it had a safety factor built into it? So it wouldn't stop rather than... What happens if no tape passed under the scanner? No, no tape, nothing. Nothing at all. The photo shell's shining upward without impedance. All the neuro circuits will jump their gaps and short out. Meaning what? It's the end of the mechanism. I examined the circuit. There's not enough voltage to do that. Metal won't fuse under such slight loads of current, even if the terminals are touching. We're talking about a millionth of a watt along a cerium channel, perhaps a sixteenth of an inch in length. Let's assume there are a billion possible combinations at one instant arising from the punch-outs on the tape. The total output isn't cumulative. The amount of current depends on what the battery details for that module, and it's not much. With all the gates open and going... We wouldn't lie. Why not? Here I have an opportunity to experience everything simultaneously, to know the universe in its entirety, to be momentarily in contact with all reality. A symphonic score entering my brain outside of time, all notes, all instruments sounding at once. Do you see? It'll burn you out. You're short. Would you like a cup of coffee, Mr. Poole? Well? Yes. They had me all night lying on that couch. I could have done better than that. You're not going to try any more experiments on yourself, are you? I wonder if you'll see it. Something may show up. I just want to warn you. I don't want you to be afraid. Oh, dear. Ducks. I've punched a hole for a flight of wild ducks. Do, do you see him? They weren't real, were they? H how so? You're, you're not real. You're a stimulus factor on my reality tape. A punch hole that can be glazed over. Do you also have an existence in another reality tape? Or one in objective reality? If I cut the tape, you will be everywhere and nowhere. Like everything else in the universe. At least as far as I'm aware of it. I am real. 
I would like to control time to reverse it. The causal sequences will then flow the other way. I'll walk backward down the steps from the roof field, back up to my door, push a locked door open, walk backwards to the sink where I will get out a stack of dirty dishes. I will seat myself at this table before the stack, fill each dish with food produced from my stomach. I will then transfer the food to the refrigerator, pack it in bags, carry the bags to a supermarket, distribute the food out of the refrigerator, pack it in bags, carry the bags to a supermarket, and distribute the food here and there in the store. At last, at the front counter, they will pay me money for this from their cash register. The food will be packed with other food in big plastic boxes shipped out of the city into the hydroponic plants on the Atlantic. They're to be joined back to tree and bushes or the bodies of dead animals are pushed deep in the ground. But what would that prove? A videotape running backward. I would know no more than I know now. And that's not enough. What I want is the ultimate and absolute reality for one microsecond. There's one change I might make. I want to know you completely. To do that, I must cut the tape. If I don't do it now, I'll do it some other time. It's inevitable that eventually I'll do it. You make me wish I had gone to the office after all. Go! I don't want to leave you alone. I'll be fine. No, you're not going to be fine. You're going to unplug yourself or, 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 or something. Kill yourself because you found out you're just an electric ant and not a human being. Maybe so. And I can't stop you. No. Well, but I'm going to stay even if I can't stop you because if I do leave and you do kill yourself I'll always ask myself for the rest of my life what would have happened if I had stayed you, you see go ahead it's not pain I'm going to feel although it may look like that to you keep in mind the fact that organic robots have minimal pain circuits in them I will be experiencing the most intense physical don't, don't, don't tell me anymore. Just do it. If you're going to do it, or don't do it, if you're not going. I'm going to cut a tape mounted inside my chest panel. That's all. Nothing happened. I have 30 to 40 minutes. I'm sorry, maybe you ought to leave. Go away, back to the office where you ought to be, where we both ought to be. I'm going to fuse the tapes together. The tension's too great. I can't stand it. It's too late. It's passed through. It's winding at a rate greater than I calculated. I am living. I have lived. I will never live. <coughs> oh. I thought it said I was a stimulus factor in its reality tape. When it died, I was supposed to die. Why'd I imagine that? It must have been in its own electric world. Mr. Danceman, pool is gone. It destroyed itself right in front of my eyes. You better come over. Yes, won't it be nice? Yes, thank you, Mr. Danceman. Why can't I see through them? Hmm. If I can just tape the ends back to...